In this video, I'm going to tell you how to use the selective breeder simulation. So the first thing you want to do is open up the simulation. And when you do that, you're just going to get this blank screen. So the first thing you do is hit setup. Once you've hit setup, you'll be able to read instructions. So basically you're trying to get birds that have red wings, which you can see here and a wide tail. So right here. This is the special trait that you are looking for. When we look at these birds, if they have this little spiky thing on their head, it means that they're male. And if it's flat, it means they're female. You can continue to go through the instructions. You will see that you're playing this game with three other people. Um, and this is your population here. And there are six nesting sites in the middle of this world. And you're going to want to try to produce offspring to, with the goal of getting as many offspring with red wings and a wide tail in as few generations as possible. So to do this, you basically need to select a bird that you want to meet um, with a, a, another person's bird. So for example, this bird right here is female and she has red wings. We know that red wings is desired. Over here, we see a female that has a wide tail and that's also desired. We do have a male. So we are going to request female birds. And so any player that has female birds, it, it will go to the nesting grounds. You will need to hit go at that point. And then we can drag our bird to the nesting place with the bird that we want to cross. So we now have this red feathered bird and our bird. So we hit breed birds and we will get four eggs. So we bring these down and we see, oh look, all of these eggs are producing offspring that are heterozygous for this red wing. So we need to try and breed this bird again so we can bring this male back down. We're going to bring this male here. And chances are that when these breed, they're going to produce offspring that all have red wings. So we'll hit breed birds, bring down an egg, see what happens. Look at that. Okay. And we don't need this female here so we can drag and drop her out. We'll bring this egg down. Now we've got a female. This one is pretty far away from what we need. Doesn't have any of the traits. So we can get rid of that guy. Now we've got lots of males, so we don't need this guy anymore. And we'll bring down our final bird. Okay. So three of them have this red wing. That's great. That's what we're looking for. Um, and three of them are uh, hybrids. Now we have this wide tail. So we're going to want to take our male with red wings and mate him with this wide tailed bird. So we can hit breed birds. We can bring this down. Oh, interesting. Okay, so now we have a hybrid. Um, so we will have to just kind of continue to work with these. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, boom. Ah, but this one is a hybrid with a wider tail. Okay, so let's see here. Bring these down. Anyway, and I would continue to go until I have found that my birds all have red wings and a wide tail. I can look over on the side here to see how long it took, how many generations it took to get all of my birds with both of the traits. And the ultimate goal of this is to recognize just how long this process takes. If you hit this button here, you can see the alleles and that also might make it easier for you when you are trying to figure out the crosses that you're going to do.